We live on a rich planet and began to mine its treasures over 30,000 years ago. The signs, some of them scars, are all around us. They are visible reminders of our dependence on natural resources. Without these resources, we wouldn't be who we are. The outcrop is the part of a deposit that reaches the surface. Here in the Ruhr Mountains, there are outcrops of coal. That's where people first found it and from where they started to dig. Today you can find these mine sinkholes. They are collapsed mining tunnels that were close to the surface. Our museum preserves our past, shows where we come from. It surprises, inspires curiosity. Our museum explores and shows where we are heading. The Deutsches Bergbau Museum Bochum is a research museum and belongs to the Leibniz Association. Located in Germany's Ruhr area, it's the biggest of its kind worldwide. Glück auf is the greeting of German miners. It is mostly understood as a wish that the miners return safely to the surface. The original meaning was different, though, and was meant as a wish for the ore veins to open up. It was a way to wish success. Mineral resources are the building blocks of our civilization, literally. Each car, steel, copper, glass, contains 80% of natural resources. Each house, stone, clay, mortar, 90%. Each cell phone, gold, platinum, rare earth, 15. Rare earth describes a group of metals. These are used nowadays for the production of technical equipment such as cell phones, monitors or rechargeable batteries for the automotive industry. If the leaves of a tree represent our civilization, its roots and trunk would be our history. The history of mining begins over 30,000 years ago with the search for color pigments and flintstones. From then on, new resources are explored in rapid order. Copper, bronze, precious metals, salt. The technology for mining these resources matures with each century. The amount of mined resources increases constantly. Eventually, iron and coal become the mark of an era. In 1951, six European countries formed the European Coal and Steel Community in order to trade these products free of tariffs. In 1993, this community becomes the European Union. The evolution of mining is an integral part of our history, from its beginning till today. Mining gets more complex because the mineral deposits that can be exploited easily are almost gone. As a result, one has to constantly dig deeper. In addition, these deposits usually have a lower metal content, and one has to extract much greater amounts in order to get the same quantity of ore or mineral resources. A mining plant explores and exploits mineral resources. The Deutsches Bergbau Museum Bochum explores historical objects. We search, examine and care for them. More than 230,000 objects, each showing how the mining industry evolved. Historical treasures reveal their value only when shared with visitors, students and scientists. With Montan Dock, the Deutsches Bergbau Museum Bochum has established a unique online platform. Its purpose? To make parts of the museum's collection accessible, without limits, from every location.
Grubenpferde hat es unter Tage gegeben. Pit ponies were used underground to pull mine cars. The last pit pony in the Ruhr area was named Toby. It was in service until 1966. These horses usually spent several years underground and helped miners tremendously. Extracting mineral resources is extremely complex. To understand this, one has to go underground. Our visitor mine has a tunnel length of 2.5 kilometers and shows what mining truly means. Having experienced this, one might think differently of mineral resources, maybe by showing more respect for them. It is dark behind the pickaxe means that you never know what is behind the wall in front of you. You'll hit it with your axe and you don't know what awaits you. If a copper sample could speak, it might tell us how it was extracted in 2000 BC in Vejnave, a mining settlement in central Iran. It might relate how it was turned into a sacrificial bowl and in which town and on what marketplace it was sold. Archaeology is the search for traces. Archaeometallurgy is its bloodhound. The Deutsches Bergbaumuseum Bochum is one of the few places worldwide that conducts mining archaeology and archaeometallurgy. For over 30 years, we have been hosting teams of chemists, archaeologists, geologists and historians supporting their exploration into the past and into the evolution of the mining industry. Our goal? To retrace ancient trade routes, to understand the level of technical know-how of bygone cultures, to explore the roots of our civilization. The air underground consists of a gas-air mixture. We call it black damp if the air contains too little oxygen. If there are poisonous gases, the air is called white damp. Fire damp means there's a high level of methane, which is explosive. Working underground means working in a hostile environment. The knowledge and experience that comes with that can be transferred. In our material science department, we explore how materials deteriorate. We develop methods to simulate harmful environmental conditions, study their effects, and refine measures to protect materials. The sandstone of Cologne's cathedral, for instance. And that's where the story comes full circle. The Deutsches Bergbaumuseum Bochum explores our history and brings it into the future. Welcome to the Deutsches Bergbaumuseum Bochum. We are mining. Come and visit.